Hello, my name is Paul Robinson. I'm Contract Manager, Property Services, Seddon. We've got a full refurgement of the crematorium with the exception of this incineration at the rear. That's broke into nine phases to enable us to keep this crematorium in full operation during the works. As you can see, each one is sequenced and we've got set times to be in there and then we reopen one area up before we can move on to the next area. All the works are done out of hours, so our working hours are 5 p.m. through to 2 a.m. Monday through to Friday, and then we do work the occasional weekend as the programme dictates. Um, I'm Sonia Smith, the Bereavement Services Manager for St Helens Council. St Helens Crematorium was built in February 1962, um, and it was designed by a local um, builder and architect, which was Harry Bannister. Whilst the crematorium is very loved and cherished by the local community, the crematorium needed modernisation um, to be updated in order to meet the needs from our customers and communities so that we can expand on the range of services that we offer at the crematorium currently. The benefits to the um, residents of the borough um, and to the community would be to improve more modern facilities such as um, reintroducing the use of a small chapel, some digital services and to redesign our office accommodation in that we would have um, um, a private meeting room for families who are bereaved. So the biggest challenge is I work in a live environment in a very sympathetic area also with Covid and material shortages, the um, need to procure materials up front and making sure that we're working compliantly. The project fits into the Council's wider investment programme because it helps us to become a modern, efficient and effective Council, um, which was a key outcome of the Borough Strategy. We are ensuring that we're keeping close contact with the clients daily to ensure that we are giving them what they want and what they need throughout the project. We're ensuring that we've got our tier one contractors who've got a knowledge of our requirements and delivering to that standard and that we are keeping within the COVID requirements.